Art is the template of divine knowledge. It is how the divine intelligence shapes itself according to the ratios and proportions of our cosmic perceptions. The purpose of cosmic history is to assist each human back into the art dimension, so that each person, in whatever mode of expression chosen, is empowered to evolve him or herself as an artist. This is the natural state of the human as the supreme expression of the self-evolving art form. The following is a guideline of 13 postulates with commentary introducing the perceptual structure of radical self-creation. 1. The universe is mental in nature and is nothing less than the thought ocean of the preeminent power. Insofar as we are elucidating knowledge of a cosmic nature, Cosmic history serves as a magnet attracting what confirms and complements it. One facet that it has attract is the Knowledge Book, channeled from 1981 to 1993. This is a monumental cosmic transcription achieved through the Turkish medium Mevlana, Bülin Sojek. The Knowledge Book is unparalleled in the vastness of its cosmovision and presentation of post-religious vision. It is referred to as a guidebook, and many of its precepts and perceptions are easily integrated into the cosmovision of cosmic history. One of these principles is the thought ocean of the preeminent power. Everything in the universe represents the potentiality of different thought oceans. All forms that appear in the universe are different manifestations of the thought of preeminent power. Preeminent signifies a supreme power that precedes existence. This power produces various thought forms and thus creates the ocean of thought. The ocean is the medium and the thoughts are islands or forms. The power of art brings thought forms into manifestation. Ultimately, all thought forms have an aesthetic quality. As an artist evolves in consciousness, he or she inevitably brings forth new forms, visions, and perceptions into the dimension of reality that he or she operates in. In this flux of creation, the artist enters into the ocean of the preeminent power. 2. All consciousness evolves in ever higher stages toward a full realization of an identity with this truth that we are living in a thought ocean of the preeminent power. As consciousness advances through stages, it comes increasingly closer to the approximation of the totality of the thought ocean of preeminent power. This is the purpose of the devotion of intelligent matter as it transforms into consciousness, and as this consciousness evolves into ever higher stages in its quest for identity with the truth. Three. Art, through the codes of the art dimension, is supreme in elucidating, expressing and manifesting the forms and pathways of higher consciousness. In other words, the human realm is defined by the great boundary called the unknown. Artists who dive into the unknown expand the radius of consciousness of the whole. Though this process may look random and haphazard on the third dimension, from the higher dimension it is filled with meaning. The advance of art in the last two centuries is a systematic process that, on the one hand, turns all traditional forms and structures upside down, and on the other hand, opens a vast domain of new structures, no longer veiled by the rigidity of belief systems. This process operates within multiple sensory modes and stimuli. For instance, the expansion of visual and auditory faculties allows for the perceptual reconstructing of traditional ways of viewing reality. This occurs through the adaptation of new forms of media that extend the capacity of the eye and ear to experience ever-widening slices of psychic reality. This is the highest aspiration of film as an art form. Film can condense huge amounts of information of psychic reality into one or two scenes. This is also true in the auditory faculties. Auditory faculties evolved from symphony in the 19th century into opera. Then with the advent of the electronic and mass media came the swift proliferation of different forms of music, jazz, rhythm and blues and rock and roll.
In many ways, these forms of music have no historical precedent, but rather pioneered a newfound power to heighten the consciousness of the masses. The point is that as a species, we must now collectively evolve to a level beyond individual, privatistic, divergent consciousness. An example of this is the art of Adida, who uses photographic technology without manipulation to create multiple exposed images or light imagery. The result is monumental, with large pieces displayed as huge-scale installations with tremendous form. This is an example of a higher art form, giving new meaning to the visual arts. The images are presented in kaleidoscopic simultaneity, giving such an expression to the optical and visual sense that it stops you on your tracks and you realize this is projecting a whole other reality. These images are an example of art codes being channeled in a particular way to lift your senses. This type of art has no reference to experience in the everyday emotional world, but references instead subliminal experience that can be cognized at a higher spiritual level. 4. Because it operates in the highest level that the superhuman, supermental consciousness can aspire, art is ever the chief indicator of the path of unification and of opening the doorways to universal awareness and cosmic consciousness. Unification has always been the possibility and purpose of art. Here we use the word art as the manifestation of a type of intelligence, not as a particular form. Intelligence is recognized through attunement. Works of art are microscopic expressions of intelligence that form into higher levels or layers of cosmic intelligence or cosmic intellect. When an artist opens to the cosmic intelligence, he or she becomes a living medium of expression. Art is expressed through many different channels. These works of art manifest in different ways, whether it is Andy Warhol's series of Marilyn Monroe lithographs, a Mexican farmer's wood sculptures, or the Who's rock opera Tommy. The point is that each of these art forms represent a particular layer of cosmic intelligence. This intelligence is always operating to open the path of unification. People are magnetized to art, and art unifies the people. For example, in Bali, large groups of people traditionally come together to chant the Ramayana, the epic of the Hindus. This is living art that unifies the people. War is the opposite of this. Any form of war mentality is not part of the path of unification. Art is a path of unification and expands consciousness even if it shocks you. It shocks you to another state of consciousness where you are unified by that state of consciousness into another perception of reality. The highest art is the art that unifies the largest numbers of people in a given time-space horizon. 5. The supremacy of art relies on the fact that the universe is a self-creating art form. When we talk about the universe, we are talking about multiple universes. All universes put together create the cosmic totality. The universe as a cosmic totality is the supreme expression of art. We aspire to cosmic consciousness and the creation of cosmic civilization. Even Carl Sagan, an astronomer trained in the Western tradition, expressed the aspiration to discover cosmic civilization. Sagan worked with painter John Lumberg to help him visually express cosmic civilization as a coherent art whole. At this primitive stage of global civilization, cosmic civilization appears as a dissipative or disintegrative structure. This is because it is in the process of becoming a unified art whole still emerging from the contradictory process of materialism. When genuine global unification occurs, the noosphere, then human civilization will enter into a cosmic layer of art and intelligence, expanding into a cosmic art whole. 6. The dimension of art is the dimension of universal self-creation. As a layer of cosmic intelligence, the art dimension employs humans as mediums to evolve consciousness to ever higher stages. 
at its core. The art dimension is the place of the continuous thought ocean or meditation of God, the origin of universal self-creation. When the human attains self-reflective consciousness, he or she then has the responsibility to transform and expand consciousness, to increase his or her expressive capacity and ultimately create him or herself anew. 7. Since the universe is simultaneously an evolving structure and evolving consciousness, so the art dimension also contains the primary principles of structure and consciousness. In the art dimension, structure is expressed as form, and consciousness is expressed as myth. The universe is a series of forms continuously evolving like stars, cells, molecules, crystals, etc. Everything is always changing, mutating and evolving. Consciousness is what perceives and cognizes these forms. These are many levels of consciousness in the universe, from the animals to super beings, each with its particular perception. Form is the structure of cosmic reality. Myth is the consciousness of cosmic reality. Myth differentiates levels of consciousness, so the human can comprehend fundamental aspects of its own nature. Both form and consciousness are intrinsically aesthetic. For example, when you smell two types of incense, why does one smell different from the other? In a subtle way, each incense stick creates a form value of scent within the smell. There is a psychic aspect to each scent that triggers subliminal perceptions. The scent connects to the consciousness and activates the mythos. The mythos is the primal mythic urge within human experience that always seeks to emerge and be named as some archetypal construct of the universal consciousness. Thus, mythos is the result of subtle perturbations of the psyche aroused by the raw data of the cosmosensory experience.